So, my fiance has way too many role playing books. Like, you see this? That's not even a, a pin drop. Oh, keep going. Oh, there's more. Like, you don't even know. This isn't even half. Keep going. No, that hardly even counts. There's more. I know, it's piled so high, you can't even see them. Hey, I'm back here. But, there's more coming. Coming. Yeah. Keep showing them. We're getting close now. Hi, I'm still here. That's all the books. This is the magazines. Oh, right, there was more on the table, or the chair, I mean. I forgot about those ones. This is my entire role playing library. And we're going to get into it a book at a time here on Retro Reviews. Hey everybody, welcome to Retro Reviews, a review show where we go through my copious amounts of Dungeons and Dragons books along with other role playing games, one book at a time. And originally when I had the idea for this channel, I was sitting down and basically recording like a two hour episode, but I figured nobody's going to want to watch that. So I've enlisted my lovely fiance Laura to uh, keep me on task and try to keep these down to 10 minutes. <laughs> hey everybody. So I've got a bunch of questions, like you said, that we're going to go through for each book. So first question, what book do we have tonight? Uh, we have the Player's Option Skills and Powers book for 2nd Edition Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, do you want to give us a quick synopsis of this book? This book basically allows you total freedom in making your characters. Uh, you can basically design using a point by system. You can design your own custom class. You can design your own custom race. You can basically just throw the player's handbook out the window to make your characters and just use this book and have something that's totally unique and exactly how you want to play your character with the right, with the proper special abilities that you want. If there's stuff that you don't want to have access to, you can like. Ah, uh, this character can't use magical armor. You're like, okay. You're like, all right, I get some bonus points over the, <laughs> over here to put on some other stuff. If you want to play a, a fighter that's got a little bit of a magic talent, you can just cast like some first level spells. Yeah, you know, make like a, a Mortal Kombat style <laughs> fighter that's got like you know magical spells and ninja abilities. This is the book for you. You can totally create what you want to create, the character that you have in your mind this book. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Where did you get this book from? Uh, this is a B. Dalton bookseller. I even still got the the faded uh, USB sticker on the back. <laughs> Looks like I paid $22.95 US for this. <laughs> um, so I guess you kind of already said what you like about this book. Do you want to add anything to that? Uh, just really like the customization. I like the I like I love the customization. Uh, the fact that this actually had a better version of uh, psionic mind abilities for being able to play characters. We didn't use the psionics handbook in my group. If you played a psionicist, hmm. uh, you were actually using this book book for all the the mental telepathy powers. So. Yeah, that's, that's all for the I uh, like about this book section. Cool. Uh, is there something you didn't like about this book? This book is the most broken book in all of Dungeons & Dragons. The fact that you can basically go and look at it and be like, well, my character's not going to use this ability and not going to use this ability, 
I'll just put these points over here into something. This was a min maxer, basically minimum and maximum mm -hmm. character builders. Wet dream. I got to the point where I started being like, "How'd you make that character? Oh, you skills and powers?" I'm like, "No, no, 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 no." I bought this, loved it, and then banned it from being played at my <laughs> at my table because the customization was that broken that you could just basically be like, "I'll remove everything other than what I want to do with this character and fuel everything into it." So what I love about it is it creates cool, interesting. Unique characters. What I hate about it, it builds broken powerhouses of characters. There was no, there was like the two There's extremes. No There's no balance in this book. It is the most broken book in all of all of D and D, and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you recommend it to other gamers? I would recommend this to. I would recommend this. I would definitely recommend that if you're playing old school D&D and you've gotten bored and you want to open up the doors and do stuff, but knowing that it's broken, I would definitely say D this it says player's option, but this really needs to be DM's option. This is the book that you want when you're like, I want to design a custom class. I want to design a custom a new race to play. I want to. I want to make some interesting choices to give to my players for stuff like that. That's when you use this book. Is the DM build stuff to fit their game world, not, not just, just open it up. Not not game. just hand it over to a player and be like build whatever you want. This you need to have this book in your collection as a DM, as a player. If you're using this book, you need to sit down with your DM and have a serious conversation because it can get that broken. Like a free for all. It, it can completely unbalance a game. Mm. If it's yeah. not used, use this book wisely. <laughs> Are you planning to keep this book? Uh, yes, uh, because I do want to go back through and design. Uh, I've got some custom. Uh, races and classes for my D and D world that I need to codify, and I want to use this book to do that. And I also do not want to have this book get out into the wild and wreak havoc in other people's D and D games. <laughs> so this is going to stay, both because it's useful and I want to use it, but also because I want to protect other DMs from broken characters that this book can create. <laughs> You just recommended it. I, I, yeah, for DMs, not for players. <laughs> right. Okay, well, use wisely. Then. Use wisely. Use this with caution. Okay. Oh, that's everything. That is everything. How can I love this book and hate it at the same time? It's, it's, it's totally, it's conflicting. But uh, that's it for us. Uh, if you if you disagree about this book being broken, I'd love to hear your counter argument in the comments below. Uh, also, leave a like, share this, and uh, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. Peace.